it makes it's like scary it's giving like scary vibes because like these men in the back are having guns and stuff and like he he looks just scary scared and stuff and the animals look very scary you know, like theories. Yeah. Okay. What? What? There. Their eyes is like scary, and I don't know. They just look scary to me. And he looks scary, off. He looks like he's a part of. That. I just want to say, it's it's an amazing art, and I would glad to show it to you. I find the children kind of interesting. The girl on the bottom, she looks so kind of, you wouldn't even notice her when you first looked, but she's kind of just there. And I feel like, so I feel like he also has some questions too with like how it not only affected, you know, the people we see in the back, like the war going on, but everyday people in life in the front foreground. And the first thing that stands out to me are the eyes of the animals staring out at you, um, sort of giving you a like melancholy feel on a look. Just experiencing death and experiencing World War One, just the mass death that you would have in Europe and just, uh, is there salvation? Is there paradise after what we've experienced? And when I look at this piece, it is what I wish religion made me feel like. Like there's safety where maybe you wouldn't expect it. I mean, there's obviously predator animals here with prey animals and people and there's the shepherd but there's also beautiful flowers and nothing feels threatening living through COVID living through invasion of Russia you know you can kind of I guess I kind of feel a bit of kinship with the idea of imagine not knowing how it ends and you would want to feel that sense of security and have it surround you. It's a photo very linda with a bosque lleno de animales lleno de hermosura lleno de, de amor y talento Y lo que me gusta más que podemos en este tiempo podíamos tocar los animales y vivir una vida libre. Gracias. I look at this this um, portrait as this painting as um, reminding me of what the Bible says how when um, Jesus come back in heaven and we go to heaven and everybody gets along even the lambs with the lions and i'm looking at this picture and it has all the animals and they're all sitting together and they're all at peace and so it feels like it's kind of saying how war and religion are maybe very intertwined or very just interconnected and they've always has been i think for me the most striking thing is the texture all around it i've been like looking at it all day and like the leaves, I just love how they stick out. Like that's been the main thing for me is looking how the leaves stick out even from far away. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I think it's interesting that he, despite being a soldier himself or a veteran at this point, he's seeing himself as a shepherd and the men who are actually fighting are in the back. And so maybe this is his way of like a bit more personal of saying like he has put that behind him and now he's more of a shepherd and he wants to make life more instead of like ending it maybe it feels maybe more like that like he wants a personal shift in his life